Why do they make hospitals one giant maze? I felt like Pac-Man trying to find me way to the canteen. I had to keep checking there were no little ghosts following me. Anyway, it were a waste of time. Canteen's closed for cleaning. I've just got to wait for that leaflet about my blood pressure. Apparently it's a bit high. All right. Well, you better take it easy. We don't want you getting ill now. Hey, I bet he's going to be bonny. <laughs> or she. Maybe. Behave. You and Nate, you like models. Hey, should we open the envelope? Find out the sex. Go on, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> no, I think I'll wait for Nate. Yeah. you got plenty of time. Have we? Of course, you can't have been caught all day. I meant till it goes to prison. You can't think like that. Why not? We both know that's where he's heading eventually. You have to stay positive. <sighs> Some judge gets to make a decision on his life, on my life and my baby's life, and I can't do anything about it. Maybe I'm cursed. Maybe I don't deserve to be happy. To be a mother. Of course you do. Oh, Lydia. I'm so sorry. It's me harping on about babies after everything you've been through. It's what I'm here for. You get it all out, love. <sighs> I wish Vanessa was here. Oh, love. I know she's going through a tough time, but I need my sister. Look, she's not a million miles away. <sighs> She'll be back when she's ready. There's no way that she'd miss out on watching her niece or nephew grow up. Oh, Tracy, love. You're not alone. I'll be with you every step of the way. And so will the rest of the family. Look, you just focus on staying healthy in mind as well as body. That baby needs you. It needs its dad. And he'll be here. <laughs> not if he's in prison. Yeah, but we're only talking six months or so. Yeah, that's six months too long. I know, but it'll fly by. Look, just concentrate on getting that little one here nice and healthy, yeah? And we'll figure out the rest as we go. When did you get back? You should have called me. I only just got here. So? How did it go? Good. My solicitor reckons it looks promising for the sentencing. Really? So the judge went easy on you then? Yeah. Told you, I'll stop worrying. Lydia said your blood pressure's up. And promise me you're gonna take it easy. I will now. So we're gonna settle this once and for all then? Lydia, boy or girl? Ooh, a girl. Hang on, I've got a better idea. Why don't we throw a gender reveal party? What? You know, like the wax do. Invite all the family round and then surprise them by revealing if it's a boy or a girl. So we just open the envelope now. I think that's a great idea. And it'll be something for us to look forward to before you go away. I guess. Hey, I tell you what, why don't I keep hold of the envelope? And then I can open it on the day and it'll be a surprise for you two as well. Great idea. Oh, it's going to be ace. Oh, you OK, love? Oh, do you know what? I think you're right. Only a boy would kick me like I'm some kind of football. Can I help? Uh, you can swap with me if you like, like the seahorses do. You feeling okay? You do know that male seahorses carry the baby, not the mother, yeah? Where did you hear that? Well, I think I read it on a beer mat. Hmm. Right, I'm off for a soak. Don't interrupt me. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, Nate, you don't have to pretend with me. Must be a lot to get your head round. New baby. Six months in prison. Nate? I lied. What? It's not just six months. I'm looking at two to three years now. Oh, love. I'm so sorry. Well, you're going to have to tell her. <laughs>